So today we are going to learn about Dia de los Muertos and some of the vocabulary that is related to this holiday. So later on in this lesson, we are going to both sing a song and read a book about Dia de los Muertos. And some of the vocabulary that we are going to learn will be included in that and it will help us if we know what each word means. So we are going to look at some of the vocabulario, which in Spanish means vocabulary. And to the right, we see two pictures that are related to our holiday in some way. So we see some skeletons um, and someone with skeleton makeup. We see some flowers and overall just a lot of bright colors. So we are going to learn what some of those words are in Spanish. Now, for Dia de los Muertos, these flowers and bright colors and skeletons will be on these altars that we decorate to bring our loved ones back to us and celebrate them. And those altars in Spanish are ofrendas. And on our ofrendas, we may put some skeletons or calaveras. And the skeletons, where do those skeletons live? Did you say tombs or maybe graves or even the cemetery? If so, that is correct. And in Spanish, tombs or graves are tumbas. And the cemetery is cementerio. That's kind of a mouthful. Let's practice saying that. Cementerio. Good job. Now, another part of Dia de los Muertos and one of the more spooky, silly parts is that we might see some mummies or we might see our skeletons wrapped up in their cozy little coffins. And so we might sing about that or read about that in our book. And mummies in Spanish is momias. Momias. And of course, our vocabulary would not be complete without learning what the actual title of this holiday means, which we have already said, but we are going to go over it more in detail. So the holiday is called Dia de los Muertos, and each of those words, just like in our language, means something different. So Dia is day, de is of, los is the, and muertos is dead. So we have Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead. And our last vocabulary word is flores, which sounds pretty close to the English word flowers. Just like we're able to see on the head of the calavera in the top right corner of our screen. Now let's practice saying these words because these can really be a mouthful. So repeat after me. Ofrendas. Good. Calaveras. Excellent. Tumbas. Cementerio. Momias. Dia. De. Los. Muertos. And lastly, flores. Great job. All of these words are going to help us as we go through our lessons over these couple days. And we are going to be singing this song that you actually can see in the bottom right corner. We are not quite there yet, but we will be singing some of these words and learning more about these words. And we'll talk about how all of these tie into the holiday. And just as we talked about how we might put our skeletons on our ofrendas and decorate them with flores and a lot of colors, we are going to keep exploring what all this vocabulary means and how it relates to the holiday. And now we are just that much more fluent in a new language, which is super duper cool. And as we go through the book and the song, we might have an even easier time after knowing what some of these words mean. So thank you so much for taking the time to learn this vocabulary with me today, and I cannot wait to teach you even more about this holiday throughout our lessons. Bye, everybody.